friends, we've got another problem and I need your help because I'm really stumped on this one. <laughs> Stump. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this problem is. I got a pole here pulling on a stump and they tell us that the tension in the cable is 2,500 newtons. It can't be 2,500 newtons. There's inches over there. Let's make it pounds. 2,500 pounds, not newtons. Okay. So this cable has a magnitude of 2,500 pounds of tension in it. Okay. The tension in the room was high. Okay. What is the moment produced at point A? So what is the moment here produced by that cable? Now, what does this pole here feel? The pole feels this, right? It feels some force pulling like that, okay? Uh, if the cable could pull from any direction, oh, that's some other stuff. We'll do that in a second. Let's do part A here, okay? What is the moment produced at A? Let's do that one first, okay? Okay, so the first thing that I would do, and this is a little bit tricky, I think I would break, you can do it any way you want, but I think what I would do about point A is there's two ways you could do this, okay? You could say, okay, this guy has a component here and a component there, okay? Or you could align it with the pole, right, and say there's a component there and a component there, okay? So which one you do, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's a little bit shorter equation if you do the second way, okay? Um, but... I'll do it the first way because it's just easier, dead gummit. Okay? So you could do that a couple of different ways. So what we need is this angle right here. I need that angle right there. You know what? Two parallel lines with a line between them. So whatever this angle down here is, is the same as that angle up there. And I think I can get that from this big triangle here, right? And if I do opposite over adjacent, right? So tan, we'll call this guy theta, and this guy theta, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 35. Okay? And let's see what that is. 18 divided by 35 equals, and then inverse tan of that is, drum roll please, 27.22. So this, 27.22 degrees. This up here, 27.22 degrees, okay? So that would make this guy right here, right? This guy would be 2,500 uh, cosine of 27.22 degrees. And that would make this component 2500 sine 27.22 degrees. Okay? All right, so let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can write our moment equation and find the moment about point A. Okay? So the moment about point A is equal to this being positive, right? There's our little symbol for positive. Anything that's going to make us rotate counterclockwise. Okay, so I put my finger at A, and I push with this top force up here. That makes me spin which way? Positive or negative? Positive, right? It makes me spin counterclockwise, so positive. So 2,500 cosine 27.22, okay? Now here's a dangerous thing, right? There's force times something. Must be distance. Force times distance, right? No. That whole thing is, and I do that all the time too. Students do this all the time to me. They do this, and that's it, right? And what do they do? They forget to multiply by the perpendicular distance, okay? So the force is in the X, so the distance is in the Y. And how far away from point A is that? Well, it's 18. Okay? And this is going to be in inch pounds here, right? Because my, my length is in inches and my force is in pounds. Okay, what about that guy? Which way does he make me spin? Put my finger at A and I push 
Ooh, he's going to make me spin clockwise. So minus 2,500, sine 27.22 times, times how far away, okay? From point A, that guy's line of action is 10 away, okay? So here we go. We're fixing to get it. Ready? Clear. 2,700. Oh, 2,500. Duh. Okay, times cosine 27.22 uh, equals times 18 equals. Woo, 40,016. And then minus 2,500 times the sine of 27.22 times 10. So that equals 28,581.34 or 35, it doesn't really matter, 0.3 inch pounds, okay? Now, it's a big number, right? And probably that's not a really great way to enter that because this number's so big. So probably a better way to do that would have been converted into foot pounds instead of inches, okay? Could we do that? Well, sure, we could take this and we could multiply it by, let's see, there are uh, 12 inches per foot, right? And that way my inches divide away, right? And so take that number divided by 12 is equal to 2381.8 foot pounds. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, uh, still a big number. Could we change it again? Yes. Instead of having pounds, we could write it in kips. What the heck is a kip? Think of a kip as a kilopound. What's kilo? That's times 10 to the 3, right? So, 2.38 kip feet, okay? So there's three different units, right, that all mean the exact same thing. This one's probably good because it's, you know, a small number, it's a reasonable number, right? Kip feet. Kip is not something we use very commonly, but it's something that you use all the time in the book. Uh, it's also something we use in solids all the time, like Instead of PSI, pounds per square inch, we have KSI, which is kips per square inch. It's the same thing, okay? So a kip is a kilopound. Easy enough. Okay, so let's see the next part. If the cable can pull from any direction, okay? So instead of pulling just like this, the cable could pull like any way you want. What is the maximum moment possible? Okay, where do you get the biggest bang for your buck out of that cable? Where can I get the max moment? Let me just show you this example. Let's say you had a bolt, okay? Here's a bolt head, and I give you this big wrench, okay? This big wrench like this, okay? And you gotta put the biggest twisty force on that bolt that you can possibly put on it. Are you gonna push on this wrench like that? Uh, that would be kinda dumb, wouldn't it? Because this guy has two components. He has one here, and he has one here. Okay, if I, if I take that component by itself, right, and I just grab that wrench and I just pull it like that, how much, how much torque does that generate on the bolt? None. So here's the deal. A force that goes through the point that you're trying to make a moment, right? If the force goes through the point you're trying to make a moment, it makes zero moment, okay? I call this guy, and you'll hear me say this, I call this guy a cha-cha force, okay? That's kind of silly, isn't it? A cha-cha force, because look, if you follow that little vector, where does he go? Cha-cha-cha, you just follow him over there, bam, he goes right through the moment. Then, then he doesn't make any moment. Cha-cha forces make zero moment, okay? Now don't go looking for that in the book, it's not in the book, I just made that up. It's a silly thing to help you remember this, okay? Okay, so the only one that makes any moment is this perpendicular component. Then why the heck would you push the wrench at an angle in the first place, right? If I'm going to get the biggest bang for that buck, I'm going to push with 90 degrees. 
So max moment always occurs when the force vector is 90 degrees to the R vector, okay? When those two are 90 degrees, moment is maximum, always. That's, a, that's like a conceptual thing. And you can't solve this problem if you don't understand that, because what does that mean? Well, what that means is that the maximum moment is gonna come when I pull on that cable like that, right? So when this is 90 degrees here, and I pull on that cable like that direction, then I'm gonna make the ma max moment. Well, what is the max moment? Well, let me tell you this, watch this. 18 squared plus 10 squared, square root, right, is uh, 20.59. So the length of this pole is 20.59 inches, okay? Well, about point A, it's force times distance. Well, if the force is perpendicular, then it's just 2,500 times that, done. So times 2,500 equals 51,478. So 51,478 inch pounds. That, my friends, is the max, okay? Here's what it was, 28,000 pounds when it was pulling at an angle but when I pull it at 90 degrees, 51,000 pounds, okay? So, I shouldn't say pounds, I should say pound inches, right? If the cable could pull from any direction, what is the max? We got that. What is the minimum moment that that cable could make? Well, that would be here. If I pull straight up, okay, then how much twisting, how much rotating does this pole do if you pull straight on the pole? None. What if I pull this way? What if I pulled straight down on the pole? What do you think? Pull straight down the pole, how much spinning does it do? None. Okay, so min moment would be zero inch pounds or zero kip feet or whatever you want to call it. Zero, right? Zero. Okay, so that's how you do min and max on moments, okay? All right, gang, good problem. See you next time.